my recollection of the Arts Council what was 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 uh, is one um, of of advocacy, right? Mm -hmm. I think what 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 uh, the Newark Arts Council was trying to do was to um, make a case for support of the arts in Newark, right. and I think I think there was I think the culture of the Arts Council was one in which. It tried to see, start to us to use your 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 turn of phrase. It tried to stitch together all of the large and small entities as a kind of ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So that that so so I mean, and it was hard because I I, I think many times what we found is that the needs and the priorities of small to mid-sized groups and organizations didn't necessarily align right. you know, with, with the same interests of the anchor institutions right. like the New York Museum, mm -hmm. like the like NJ PAC, mm -hmm. you know, and so I think um, what the New York Arts Council was trying to do was somehow implicitly they were trying to somehow say, look, um, it's not the big dog takes all. Mm -hmm. You right. got to eat, we got an ecosystem going here. Yeah. Yeah. And the way it works is that small to mid-sized organizations, they're pretty much the training ground for artists and for not only artists, but curators and administrators. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they function really as feeder institutions.